What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and yesterday CD Projekt Red, most known for their work on the Witcher trilogy, pulled the curtain back off of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. And while initial speculations and rumors circulated that this game would be pretty much a post-apocalyptic version of Grand Theft Auto, what was actually shown during the 50-minute gameplay reveal looked to have more in common with gaming franchises such as Deus Ex and Bethesda's Fallout. Immediately, you'll notice that the game plays primarily in first person. Unless you're driving in a car, which you'll give the option of first person or third person. But this is in stark contrast to their previous offerings from the Witcher trilogy, which was set in third person. CD Projekt Red has mentioned that they did choose the first person camera to increase immersion and give the player a feeling of overall ownership of the character that they choose to play. The reveal starts out with showing you a basic overview of the initial customizations in game. Now, aside from the standard gender and character building selections, you also have the choice of multiple different backstory options which will impact the game's narrative and possibly increase in the replayability for future multiple playthroughs. Although this is a narrative-based RPG, you will find no class selection when you start your character. Instead, your class will be dependent upon which upgrades that you choose in-game. Upgradable stats will include your in-game level, street cred XP, physical, thermal, EMP, and chemical resistances, as well as the possibility to build your character focused on melee or ranged combat. Although, it seems like guns will most likely take center stage. However, these aren't the only upgrades that you're gonna find along the way. You'll have weapons and bio mods also allowing you to outfit yourself with many and plenty different abilities, allowing you to build your loadout to suit your playstyle. The overworld of the game is built as a sprawling metropolis that CD Projekt Red can be quoted as saying, you'll be able to travel the entire map from one corner to the next without any loading screens at all. If that's not impressive enough, what caught my eye during the presentation was the fact that none of the character models of the NPCs in the world seem to repeat each other, much like you'd see in other open world games. Not only do the NPC character models seem unique, but also I, I didn't see a single one of them wearing the same outfit at all. Cyberpunk 2077's overworld may be pretty, but it definitely has its share of dirty corners and dark alleys populated by foul-mouthed NPCs, street-walking hookers, and beams. <laughs> Apparently, the game is slated for release for PC, PS4, and Xbox One, but I'm not quite sure how they're gonna pull this game off on console without a severe graphical downgrade from what we've been shown. Although CD Projekt Red was very quick to point out at the start of the presentation that everything you see here is subject to change which is most likely their version of trying to get out front of the bus to avoid the same controversy The Witcher 3 had at launch with a lot of gamers accusing CD Projekt Red of showing off some trumped up graphics pre-release that would later be downgraded in the launch release version. But those of you guys that are looking to play this game on console, honestly, I wouldn't hold your breath if you're expecting the game to look quite as good as this. Not unless this game releases close to the launch of the PS5 and Xbox One, Two, or whatever the hell Microsoft decides to name their next-gen console. <laughs> but even though this is a first-person shooter, the combat of the game looks much more tied to movement, positioning, and smart use of your cooldowns and abilities 
rather than your overall gun skill. The inclusion of environmental hacking and partial destruction shown gives you more options to flank the enemies in the heat of the moment rather than just going gung-ho, gun-blazing style like you would in any other first-person shooter. In fact, some of the weapons and abilities shown in game, like the smart SMG with heat-seeking ammo or the ability to bounce bullets around the corner wanted style, yeah, they don't really give two shits or one fuck about you or your gun skills. <laughs> but either way, the game looks amazing and will probably be a lock for game of the year for whatever year this game actually releases in because, well, yeah. <laughs> we have no official release date or even a launch window given at this point, but we do have 50 minutes of gameplay shown, and what was shown looks to be one of the first games that I've ever seen this next generation of video games. It actually looks more like the next generation of video games, and not just the same old shit that we've been playing for the last 20 years with a new coat of paint and the letters... 4K slapped on the box. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch. My motherfuckers, bitches. Let, let me know in the comment section down below. Did you check out the 50 minute gameplay reveal from Gamescom yesterday? If you didn't, you probably should. But if you did, let me know. W what did you think? Are you ready to get on the Cyberpunk 2077 hype train, or are you just a little bit skeptical that it can live up to the massive amount of hype that this game just has surrounding it right now at this moment? Tell me in the comment section down below. My name's Jay, more than Afterkill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.